Hello guys. So, uh, I have really bad uh, luck with inverters. I don't know why. But I got a few of those and they did not perform very well. And uh, besides that they died really fast. With very little use. So I got a new one. And this is a... a WZRELB. Uh, RBP 1012CRT. Okay, it's just a brand that Amazon sells. It's a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And I just decided to put it uh, to the test, or maybe not put it to the test because I tested yesterday, but just to do a little review on this uh, pure sine wave, sine wave inverter. My setup is uh, the scope here. This is a voltmeter for the voltage coming out. This voltmeter is to check the battery voltage. The battery is a pretty strong battery. It's a fully charged battery. And uh, the, the inverter. And of course I forgot uh, the hair dryer, which is going to be the load for the inverter. Okay. And then uh, the last one, but not the least one, is the beer. That's a very important ingredient. So, anyway, let's get to it. So I don't take too much of your time. Let me just restart this, just in case it decides to die on me after a few minutes. Okay, let's start this one too. Well, it was not very successful. Let's try again. So the battery voltage is 13 volts. Right now is a zero on the inverter because it's not on. Everything is connected. The scope is on. So let's uh, make sure this is off. Turn it on. And as you can see, it's kind of uh, creeping slowly to the 120 volts. So number one, the sine wave is really good. Okay, this is a pure sine wave. And the flickering is just uh, the scope. It's not the inverter. But it has a really nice sine wave. Okay, so it is a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, the voltage is good. There is no load. And I forgot one more thing. I want to check actually the draw on, a, on, the, on this thing without a load also. And now let's do it right now. Let's see what we're going to get here. The other way. I'm not going to be able to show it to you, but uh, what we're getting here is about a half half amp draw right now. Okay. Let's zero it again. Actually, to be exact, is 0 0.75. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. That's what it is. 0 0.76. So this is the empty draw of this inverter itself. Which is actually okay. No problem with that. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need this mirror for anything else. But the problem with this is that uh, the 1000 watt is not exactly 1000 watt. So uh, let's see, okay, I'm going to apply some load to it and let's see what's going to happen. Now this is only 100 watt. Okay, and it dropped a little bit. Of course, well, uh, let's, let's check these numbers here, okay. 
121 volts versus 119 and something. And the battery is 12.6 and here so it's 12.24. So let's put a little more load on it. This is 170 watts. This is one more different, that's okay. The battery is 12.2 or 12.4. Okay. So let's put this is gonna be a 460 watt load. And as you can see, the battery is 12 and here is 11 .7. But here is still 122 volts, yet here is 118 coming out. The sine wave is still really good. Okay, the sine wave doesn't change. So that's good. And let's put uh, let's put uh, about 750 watts or about 800 watt load on it, okay? Let's see what we're gonna get. So this is about 800 watt load. The voltage on battery is 1119. Here is 10.7. So that's a big difference. Okay. 109 here, 109 here. That's pretty, that's pretty good, except the voltage drops tremendously. Okay, this is about uh, 600 watt load. So we got 114 here, but here it shows 120. Okay, 11 on the battery, the real is 11.5. So there are just a little bit differences here. The battery doesn't really matter that much, it doesn't bother me, but this 120 shows me 120 and it's only 114, 115. That's not good. When I put just a little bit low down, a little more, like 100 watts more, it will equalize suddenly. So pretty much this meter. So pretty much this voltmeter is not the true arms. It just tells you whatever I want to tell you. Okay. This I don't know what that does. That's just pretty much way off. That doesn't do any good to you. Right now it's okay. It's 12.6, 12.6, but once you put a load on it, it's not really it's not really doing much good to you. The sine wave is good all the time which is actually really good so the outcome on, on this thing is oh so one more thing or a couple more things I run the refrigerator on this and it will run the refrigerator without no problems full-size refrigerator okay so that's good because that's what I want to use it for no problem with running the full-size refrigerator whatsoever number two it doesn't have the low voltage battery shutoff. Yesterday I run the battery all the way down to it says 9.8 over here and on my meter was 10.3 volts. So and it still didn't shut off. So that was that's a really bad no-no. Okay, this have to this have to have some kind of limit here how low it's gonna draw the power from the battery and this doesn't have it it will probably just pretty much uh, draw the load from the battery to zero if it can so I don't know but I didn't go that far okay and then uh, one more thing um, oh the remote control that came with it, it doesn't work at all it has no effect on this inverter that's another thing, and I don't know how it's supposed to work, but I'm not really, I don't really care about the remote. So that didn't work at all. And then, 
there was a one more thing that I forgot, but I will mention it later. So the conclusion of this inverter, if you want to use it, well, just because it does not have the low voltage battery shut off, I would not really recommend it. Other than that, it has a really good, good power coming out. Oh, I remember now. It doesn't, it doesn't have any surge. This is a just thousand watt. It says on the website on Amazon, it says two two thousand watt surge. But as soon as I overload it with this hair dryer, and we can even try that, I'm gonna I'm gonna overload it to fifteen hundred watts. Okay. It will shut off immediately. It just have no search whatsoever. So let's see. Now this is uh, about 800 watts, and I'm gonna switch it to the high. Instantly, it goes. It goes out. Okay, and that that was 1500 watts. So. If it has 2000 watts surge, it, it would have to surge a little bit for at least a second or two, you know, before before it shuts out. But this will just shut off pretty much immediately. So that's a kind of not a good thing either, but that wouldn't bother me just because I want to use it just for a refrigerator. So the conclusion is. Uh, just because it does not have the low voltage, the battery low voltage shut off, I would not recommend it. Other than that, if you just want to use it for small power, like a refrigerator, or up to maybe 500, 600 watts, that would be really good power source, just because of the really, really nice sine wave. Okay, it's very smooth sine wave, very smooth power coming out of it. Not very strong, but, you know, just like I said, if you don't need too much power, just the refrigerator, or maybe some computers or uh, electronics, that would be good for that. But you would have to watch your battery. Um, yeah, you can start it up again. Friend didn't even kick in, but there is no reason for a friend to kick in. But that's pretty much what it is. 121, 121, 12.8, 12.7, sine wave, beautiful. That's it. Till next time. Oh, I forgot. Cheers. Very good beer, it's important for the job too.